Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested. As some of you may know, last week we hosted our 2015 live stage show, and it was one big send-off for our very own Will Smith. We had a surprise for Will at the show as well. We made, along with Len Peralta, co-host of the Creature Geek podcast, these Geek A Week trading cards, and Will finally made it onto the trading card. So what I want to do today is actually get on the phone with Len, Len Peralta, and talk about his process. Len's a great artist. He does comic books. He does these animations. Uh, and we're going to talk about how he came up with this piece of art. Jump to Len. Hey, Len. How are you doing? I am doing well. And oh, uh, we are actually great. watching me draw right now. Isn't that kind of neat? That's right. So uh, I wanted to get you on the line to chat about your process and what you do. I mean, one of the things you do is the uh, host the Creature Geek podcast with Frank Capolito. Right. People should listen to that. But you, what you may be most well known for in the uh, geek community is your Geek a Week trading card series. Yeah. Yeah. I started it back in 2010 and I've done, I think someone told me I did like, I've done like 112, 115 of these. Cards wow. now, and, and you've uh, done not only the art, the, your interpretation of uh, notable people in the uh, the film and geek community, uh, but also it's a cool format. You uh, you make the card, you also interview them. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're watching you draw Will right now. Yeah, yeah. This is interesting. This is a little bit different because uh, at the time we're talking, Will doesn't even know that we did this. That's right. So, so this was a. Uh, uh, I was approached by you and uh, Kishore uh, at um, DragonCon, and uh, you uh, you would, you had told me that you wanted to do something special for Will as a going away gift, sort of in a way. Um, and uh, you asked if I'd be interested in, in doing a um, uh, a Geek Week card. So that's exactly what I, I did. So I haven't actually talked to Will. So I'm, I'm hoping to actually be able to do that after he gets the card and he's all excited. So it's a little bit of backwards here, but it, it's still a cool little process. But let's talk um, about your process and how right. you're drawing this. We're already at the part where you're adding some color. So you, yes. it looks like you just did a sketch. Are you just using a digital a tablet? I am. I use a, a Cintiq 22, uh, and I've been working digitally now for about three, three and a half years now. Um, and I made the switch uh, right in the middle of doing a, uh, a comic book with Bill Corbett, the Super Powered Revenge Christmas comic book, which probably wasn't the best idea, but I've, I've, uh, I've gotten a little bit better at it. And uh, what you saw there, th by the way, this is an interesting thing. It's about an eight minute video. Uh, it took me over probably about uh, uh, an hour and a half of time to actually do this. So the pencil sketch you just saw probably took me about maybe half an hour or so. And uh, what was interesting there is you saw some, um, uh, well, you kind of see it there, the, the pencil sketch. Uh, I had originally, I, was, I found some pictures of uh, Will, this one really interesting picture of Will that he took for himself from down below. Um, and it, it was this interesting look. And I knew I wanted to do um, something with him as the, uh, as the lawnmower man. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, I took that image, and then if you saw, I, I erased it because there was some feedback from you guys that you wanted to have him look more... Um, excited or more uh, more in awe so I went ahead and did that and, and sort of um, uh, edited the the pencil sketch to make it look like he's he's a little bit more in awe here so so on um, top of the pencil sketch you add these blocks of color and I see you switching between the pencil sketch and the color is the eventual piece of art just that color and the pencil goes away yes I, I work uh, I use tons and tons of layers so the pencil sketch is always going to be on one layer uh, if you think about, if you've never used Photoshop, it's, uh, you, you can create layers. And if you just, and the way it is, is you basically are just putting something on top of something else. So if you try to think, if you think of it like a, an onion skin, if you will, uh, mm -hmm. if you've ever drawn, you can kind of see through things. So I, I can fix the opacity and make it as light as possible. I usually like to draw that first, put that on top of my drawing, and then underneath put all the color layers. Um, and I, I usually do, um, I, there are some artists that like to work with just one color layer. I work with multiple color layers. So the ones I work with, I do the skin tone. Um, I do one for the hair. I do another one for like, for Will's glasses. I did, uh, I did one just so I could, um, I could work with them independently and I don't have to worry about if any of the paint or, or digital paint will screw up a bottom layer. I can always go back and fix that and not lose anything on the other on any of the other layers um, and then what it is is basically I just put those basic colors down 
Um, and then it's, it's just uh, like if I had the hair layer, if you see me here working on the hair layer right now, uh, I just go in and I, I start working on those individually, uh, working off the, I still have, I have two monitors, so I have one monitor that has uh, uh, Will's image on it that I'm still working from for reference. And um, I, you know, and I, I have my regular, I'm, work, I'm working it on the Cintiq and I'm, I'm just kind of switching back before the other two. The other part that I don't have here too as well, that's not digital, is I have all reference as well. So like um, Lawnmower Man reference, uh, I was uh, using some reference as far as how I wanted the character to look from this Jack Davis book I picked up over in, uh, in Dragon Con. So I had a lot of different things to kind of pull from. So, um, and it's sort of like a cheat here because you don't see any of my tools in Photoshop. <laughs> I do that on purpose so people don't know exactly how what I'm doing, but it's, um, it's it, and plus it gives kind of a cleaner look uh, so you can see the actual art and it's more magical, I guess, that way. That's how I like to do my Which process. of the brushes do you like using the most to uh, uh, use different ones? Yeah, I use, you know, it's funny. I, uh, I, I befriended an artist, a, a great uh, portrait artist by the name of Megan Lara. Um, a couple years ago and I asked her what kind of brushes she used and she pointed me to this free deviant art pack of brushes uh, that she uses and um, and and there's this, this it's really interesting the there's one particular one that is just called a hairbrush which was just created it's just a bunch of little dots and I find that I use that most just to because it's got this really cool kind of paintbrush look um, that just you can do so many cool things with it and just fix up the size and go back and forth with it um, and then I also use a combination of that and um, and a lot of the uh, air, airbrush um, uh, brushes just to get kind of get some some softer some softer feels here um, but yeah if you can kind of see I'm, I'm working on will the, the the lawnmower man kind of look here with the uh, body Will's, suit yeah, yeah the body suit and that's all done with this thing called a hairbrush I just make it real small and I'm just going in there and fixing it up that's a that that brush there is a uh, um, is an air airbrush brush just to kind of give it a little bit of softer edge and then I just keep going in and I just kept keep messing with it and, and getting the way I want it to look so Wow I mean you've obviously been doing this for a long time for someone just getting started if they want to you know start sketching or start digitally sketching and using Photoshop uh, how would you recommend that they split up uh, mentally their layering process uh, well just be organized um, I always use the folders I put things in folders so that I can move things easy and uh, like for for Will's glasses everything on that I work on Will's glasses is on one uh, in one folder uh, so it's easy just to move around and do different things here um, this is this little background I created for Will was actually in an illustrator that I did previously because um, I knew that it would be boring to watch me create something in Illustrator. <laughs> so, I, so I just had this background um, kind of over to the side that I just dragged in and I was able, I knew I wanted to do some cool effects and, and color and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it, it, you know, it took me about two and a half hours to do this or two hours and here we are, we're almost at the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, there's a lot. I mean, that was also years of your experience. Yeah. Uh, this is a fascinating process. Uh, it definitely is a unique look. Um, and where can people find more of your drawings? They can find me at simply at lenperalta.com. Uh, you can see anything I'm doing there. Uh, and just search Len Peralta on, on uh, Google. You'll, you'll find it. You'll find me. You'll, I have a pretty big digital footprint, and you can see a lot of my paintings and and uh, this was a lot of fun. I like doing this kind of stuff because it's a little bit different than my regular cartoon work. So hopefully. And people should check out uh, your podcast, Creature Geek on Tessa.com. Thank you so much, Len. We got to do this again and take another look sometime at another piece of art you're doing. Absolutely. Absolutely. And this is the finished piece of art for, uh, for Will. So excellent. <laughs> Thank you. That was awesome. I love chatting with Len and learning about his process, what tools he uses, how he thinks about creating a portraiture. If you would like to see us do this again, chat with other artists about their process, let us know in the comments below. Let us know of any artists you'd like us to chat with and subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, and we'll see you next time.